Hey guys, quick back Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about chromosome jumping. In chromosome jumping, the genomic DNA is first isolated and treated with a restriction enzyme. The fragments generated after restriction digestion are ligated using DNA ligase. The self ligation of fragments results in formation of circular DNA. Watch carefully. During this step, the genes which are located far away from each other are now close to each other. In the next step, the circular DNA is cut using second restriction enzyme. Finally, these fragments are ligated into a plasmid and transformed in cells. These cells are allowed to grow and form colonies. Now for the detection purpose, we make a probe of known sequence. This probe is then used to screen the colonies that have similar fragments. For this, the colonies are transferred to a membrane or a sterile velvet pad and treated with a mild detergent to cause cell lysis. Now the colony having fragment similar to the probe is used for plasmid isolation. The insert present in the plasmid is released using restriction enzyme. This fragment is then sent for sequencing. Carefully notice this fragment. It has the desired gene which is complementary to the probe and the gene that was located far away on the original chromosome. This is called chromosome jumping. Instead of getting the sequence step by step, here we jump from one end of the chromosome to the other, ignoring the sequences in between.